have earned the right to do whatever I please, whenever I please, and however I please to do it. You tell her, Dan Barry. Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if this is your first time here. Uh, we are getting into episode two of season two of Bridgerton. Really excited. Last we left off, we had uh, Kate and Antony kind of getting into it, and we had some other minor stuff going on with Eloise and Penelope. So a lot of setting up of a bunch of stories that are probably going to happen this season. So I'm really excited to see where they go from here. Uh, thank you guys to everyone who has watched the video. I really appreciate it. But if you are not subscribed, I would love it. If you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button, it really helps out the channel. Trying to get to that 1,000 subscribers this year, so every little bit helps. And if you like the video and the reaction, please make sure to leave a like, as the more likes I get, the more the video gets recommended to other people and the more people see it. So I really appreciate you guys doing that. And of course, hit the notification bell so that you are notified when I upload, because I do sometimes upload sporadically. And that's about it. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. I'm really excited. Episode 2, Season 2, Bridgerton. Let's do it. The competition is an opportunity for us to rise and stand ready before our greatest of challenges. Oh, it looks like she's making a list of the eligible bachelors for her sister to marry. Must first tame the rather prickly spinster of a beast, otherwise known as her sister. <laughs> I like that. Most marriages of the ton are, in fact, mere matters of business, my dear. Yep, yep, back in the day, that's what they were. Does Mr. Duena return your affection? <sighs> not yet. She would have done if it were not for the, the sister. <laughs> she would have done if not for the sister. <laughs> Every rose does have its thorn, after all. Of course, the only competition... So, Edwina's thorn is her sister, That that's, I like that. Oh, wow. That's a lot of guys. Dubious and libertine reputation goes before you. No intrusion for Bridgerton. End of the queue. Yeah, right. He's got his work ahead of him. I cannot think of any cleverer way to say this, but no. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Eloise could indeed find that with someone else, could she not? I believe she could, and not Lady Whistledown, but... <laughs> and not Lady Whistledown, but... My brother! No, oh, no, Colin, look, it's Colin. Colin! Glad to see things have not changed. <laughs> Colin's got a little bit of scruff on him. Brother! Brother! Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Penelope. It's like, <laughs> I want to hug, but I have to be calm. I well, told would never is not happy. Oh wow, look at the hunting guns. Uh, now, ladies, run along and get dressed. Uh, we head to the Royal Races today. Oh, so he's taking them to the races too. All right. I'm interested to see his interaction with everyone else. Though I was hoping to speak with you. Oh my. Oh, interesting. <laughs> she, she, I feel like she deep down finds him at least somewhat attractive and uh, uh, intriguing. Mr. Mondrich. Hey, yeah, I was, ha I was hoping to see him. You do know we have all been members of White's since birth. Our grand opening is tomorrow night. You're all, of course, invited to. Apologies. Yes, I, yes. Please support him in his endeavor. Thank you. <laughs> What's got her so intrigued about that pamphlet, I wonder? There are many excellent, affectionate families of Breton, are there not? Though none quite as inviting as the Bridgertons. My mother- Why, why is Lumley complimenting Bridgerton when they're fighting for Edwina? Like, I, I'm so confused. Allow me to fetch a lemonade for you. Oh, that would be most agreeable. Thank you, my lord. Now, nah, that was a play on him. He's trying to get it lonely the way, and it freaking worked. You read and replied to more of my letters than anyone else. I suppose I did, though there was always... Hmm, I wonder why. You've been back a matter of hours, yet you're already in my way. How I've missed you too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like paper. Precisely. The paper stock is the same texture as that of whistled out. It's not all... Oh, okay. So that's why she grabbed the pamphlet. 
He, although she's wearing gloves, so I'm not sure how she could feel the texture of the pamphlet with the gloves. Oh, she, she's got some plans. You think too much about it. Indeed, you little. It seems your guess. Oh, their, their little head-to-head uh, -head is uh, causing some rift, uh, possibly between Kate and Edwina. I wonder if uh, she'll confront her sister about that. Alright, so is Kate's horse gonna win or is the Antony's? Uh, did her horse win by, uh, like, like, just a, a nose? You were sent here to distract me, also Lord Bridgerton could get closer to my sister. Kate! I mean, if you're gonna try and stop him from seeing her, he's gotta do what he's gotta do. I think you're evading my question! You never asked me a question. Oh, is she, is she gonna develop a little romance with this guy? That I appear well-read and articulate? Or do you suffer from some medical ailment that way? <laughs> I'll be sure to let her know that her leading admirer is Cecil Ooh, are we, are we gonna get uh, her coming back to talk to this boy maybe, or? Husband and wife. Yay! Dig my American minds than I do to understand my late cousin's bookkeeping. Well, surely to a man of your wealth, settling. Oh, so her husband was uh, his cousin. Gotcha. He does have a pleasing smile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to gave her a look like, Are you betraying me? Is the queen here to tell Edwina that she needs to do much more than just be a pretty face? Should she know who to trust? Lady Danbury has been a steadfast guide for us this season. Should she know who to trust, huh? So that I may decide if they are worthy, of course. Uh, Miss Sharma, perhaps you would- What? What? What is the queen wanting? I, I'm in just What? Okay. Huh. Was I so obvious? You seek to unmask Lady Whistledown with the help of your diamond. The writer will assuredly. Uh, okay, that I was—that's what I was kind of thinking. But uh, I, I'm glad that Danbury kind of like <laughs> pointed it out. Well, I'm the victor of every match today. Less talking, more fencing, brother. Anthony's trying to get his uh, frustrations out. Perhaps your life might be easier if you pursued someone with a less disagreeable sister. But why? <laughs> Especially one younger than me, keep me from getting what it is I want. Who you want, you mean? Yeah, exactly. Who you want. Pardon me. Good boy. How much- He bought nectar for her. I had a feeling. But has it ever occurred to you this might in fact be about what your sister wishes for instead? He's not wrong. That horse is a character from a novel. A novel of love, in fact. Something for which my sister is an enthusiast. I mean, how is he supposed to get to uh, know these things if his, if her sister's uh, stopping him at every chance to talk? Every honest man, regardless of his title, rank, or occupation, is welcome. See, I like that. It's a gentleman's club for gentlemen, but not, like, restricted to being of the uh, upper echelon of society. There is a lesson here for you somewhere, Anthony. I only hope that this time you will finally learn it. <laughs> El Eloise's face when her mom was speaking to Anthony. Oh, that was great. <laughs> she was just dumbfounded like, oh. <laughs> So is this all the gentlemen are trying to impress her with their talents or something? I mean, I'm a singer. Could could I win? Could I win Edwina's heart with a with a little song? Oh. Dude, 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 you're just spitting something in your hands. Do you can do anything else with it? No. Okay. It is quite beautiful indeed, but I seem to have grown weary of the color. <laughs> I think we all have Penelope. I want to see in something that's not yellow. Not a matter of the color, but rather how one wears it. You wear it well, 
Miss. I like Edwina. A real conversation with someone. Someone I had known for a very long time, and yet... Oh, don't, don't toy with her again. Don't say that she... something that seems like... I thought, if Penelope can see me this way, then surely I can too. Okay. I like that. I like that. So, I cleared my head, swore off women and love, and... Swore off women and love, huh? I'm sure Penelope's not happy to hear that. Pen. You do not count. You're my friend. Yeah, saying you don't count, bad. Saying you're my friend, good. But, yeah. <laughs> Lady Cowper? Miss Cowper? What an exquisite... Is Cressida thinking of going after the new Lord Featherington? They'd make an interesting pair. I'm sure Lady Featherington would not be happy to have Cressida take over her role as the Lady Featherington. <laughs> In the pathless woods. Ooh. There is a rapture on the... Lo How does one... <laughs> Precious truth with words. <laughs> Quite right, brother. Maybe Benedict will teach his brother something. That'd be cool. You should apply yourself more often, Benedict. Write that down. <laughs> oh, Anthony, it's like, I am proud of your brother. Now give it to me. Splendid display of your talents this evening. A memorable occasion to- So how's Anthony gonna get in there? Surely Miss Edwina has time for one more. I spent all evening crafting something original. Would you- Uh, I really wish he would have said that his brother wrote it though, but I get it. It's a little deceitful though. Oh? Is what will speak louder than any pretty words ever can. <laughs> Danbury's like, not bad, not bad. I also agree. I'm glad that he owned up to, to not uh, writing that piece and kind of spoke from his heart. And it seems to have impressed uh, both, of the, both the Sharma girls, actually. See, those little glances to each other, it, there, there's double meaning behind everything. It's like, aha, see what I can do, but it's also like them kind of lovingly looking at each other. Anthony has definitely got her a little shook, that's for sure. It only brings out the worst in us before we discover it has been fruitless all along. I Dan Mary speaks the truth. I have earned the right to do whatever I please, whenever I please, and however I please to do it. You tell her, Dan Barry. If the same mistake is in Whistledown's next issue, then we will know that the print shop is indeed hers. Well, what, what's Penn gonna do? Is she gonna switch shops then, I guess? I mean, she already offered exclusivity to the guy. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. To be fair, one might call... Uh-oh! What's the modiste gonna do now? Well kept of secrets. Must eventually... Oh, okay, so Penelope's among there, Eloise is in there. Alright, episode two in the books. A uh, lot more intrigue there. We got Antony kind of scheming and trying to make his way through the Kate barricade to see Edwina, which is very interesting. And I am... they. Like, some of the stuff, yeah, a little deceitful, but I understand the reasoning why he was tr he went that way to try and do it, and I did like how he finally owned up to it and kind of was more truthful toward her, which I think kind of endeared him even more to Edwina, and possibly, I imagine, even to Cade. You could kind of see her flustered because of it, and maybe even falling for him a bit, uh, uh, because, yeah, I mean, I... I, I'm still, I'm sure he'll end up with one of them. I don't know who, please don't let me know. I'm sure I'll find out. Uh, and I don't know, actually, I honestly don't know who I want to root for him to end up with. Because um, I can see merits to both. But yeah, definitely liked that little bit of the episode. Um, I, I enjoyed seeing Benedict kind of, you know, being more artsy and, and uh, leading towards that and talking to the artist and Hopefully he'll kind of pursue that and start to grow more into that. 
Um, Eloise doing her search for the printer of the um, whistle down papers was cool and kind of flustering Penelope there a bit. And then that all came together when she ran into Modiste. So I'm interested to see where that leads. Um, it was also very cool to see uh, Anthony's mom, uh, the Lady Bridgerton, uh, kind of uh, tell him one for. Uh, so, so yeah, that was cool. And see, seeing Eloise's face was great. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm still intrigued to see what happens with the, the new Lord Featherington. It seems like he's kind of warming up to Cressida, which those two, I imagine, would make a pair. He definitely um, seems to know what he wants. Uh, I'm, I'm, he seems like a good guy as far as I know right now, but uh, who knows, down the line he may have some uh, bad tendencies or something uh, that will reveal themselves. So yeah, definitely interested to see what happens there. Let me know, what did you guys think of the episode in the comments down below? Are you inter interested to see the relationship between Kate and Antony grow? Um, are you rooting more for Edwina uh, and Antony? Do you want to see Penelope outed? I personally don't want to see her outed probably until like a little bit later. But uh, yeah, really enjoyed that episode. And we'll see you guys next week with the next one. Thanks so much for watching.